I'm right in the middle of getting ready for my wedding tomorrow, and I know what this is. It came from Panasonic, and I'm stopping everything I have to do to get ready for my wedding, packing up all my crap so I can show you what this is and use it tomorrow. Oh, boy. It's a shipping label. Oh, boy. Y'all see that? Don't do this anymore. There it is. Now I'm gonna pack for my wedding, and when I'm done with that, then I'll make the video. Three down, one to go. Panasonic has released the third of four F 1.8L mount primes. That should include one more lens by the end of the year, but for now, we finally get our hands on the much anticipated 24 millimeter 1.8. This lens is a prime example, no pun intended, of what's so great about all of these fast Lumix S primes coming out. The 24mm is a focal length and full frame that I prefer to use on a gimbal when shooting video, and the fact that all of these new primes are nearly the exact same weight, size, and have the same center of gravity more or less, unlocks the ability to have multiple lenses at the ready for gimbal shooting without having to completely rebalance and auto-tune the gimbal motors every time I want to change a lens. But the real reason I love these f1.8 primes is the image quality. The images that I've been able to get out of the previously released 85mm and 50mm are super sharp, super clear, great color, and it's no different with this lens, far exceeding my expectations for a set of lenses that each cost under 600 bucks. I think for wedding shooters, vloggers, content creators, and photographers, both amateur and professional alike, these lenses are a very attractive option to cover a wide range of focal lengths in prime format. So let's talk about autofocus, okay? We all know Panasonic is slightly behind the game when it comes to autofocus on its S-series cameras, but I am pleased overall with how the 24mm and all of these new lenses actually perform for basic autofocus function. Flying on a gimbal with the 24 this last wedding, the Panasonic S5 detected faces no problem and locked on quickly for sharp focus. I actually had to go ahead and turn the camera to one area AF when it was detecting too many faces and shifting focus too rapidly. I just really enjoy how lightweight these lenses are, and I can't say it enough. The image quality really is superb for a lens in this class. Another plus is that all of these new lenses have the same filter thread size that saves you time and money, and like its brothers, the 24mm is apparently pretty good at suppressing focus breathing when changing focus distance. All of these lenses have the same focus ring diameter too, so you can set in your camera the position of manual focus ring angle, giving you uniform focus ring operation from lens to lens in manual focus mode. However, that is a Lumix only feature and you won't get that with other L mount systems. You can also choose whether the lens focus ring adjusts based on how fast you turn the ring or the distance you cover. I did highlight that recently in my video about the 85 mm f1.8 that was released last year. Like its kin, the 24 mm is also dust, splash, and freeze resistant. And like I always say with a lens review, you gotta get your hands on it to see for yourself whether or not you like it and it's something that you wanna use and add to your kit. But having shot video for the last 23 years on a wide range of cameras and lenses, I continue to be super impressed by this line of Lumix S Primes that Panasonic's releasing. I'm personally looking forward to having all these lenses in my kit once the 35mm f1.8 comes out. Although we are not sure at this point exactly when that's going to be. For Adorama TV, I'm Rob Adams. Till next time.